This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. There are a few members of Congress who are the real deal. There are a few. We're talking Democrats here. There are no real deals in the Republican Party, but there are a few real genuine characters. Look, I end every video talking about being genuine and taking care of one another. I've done that for years now. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos I have finished by saying, be genuine, take care of one another. And maybe no one more than this person, uh, nobody does it better than this person of embodying those two commands, those two suggestions. Jamal Bowman is genuine. Jamal Bowman, a New York congressman, is dedicated to the prospect of taking care of one another. He has dedicated his life in education and his political career in the House of Representatives to those. And he was on with CNN in some kind of a weird back and forth debate. And he had some amazing things to say as he just dunked on, the, on this Republican. We'll just play it. I'm just going to play it and, uh, and, and we'll talk about it on the other side. But this is a suggestion for the rest of you out there. I don't know how many people, members of Congress watch my show, but I would say this. If you're watching this right now and you're not a member of Congress, share this and tag your member of Congress in this. This is a masterclass in the things to believe that are correct and the way to communicate it. Watch this. But we have, to have say an now. economic system where two of the wealthiest Americans own more wealth than the bottom 50% of the country. We have levels of economic inequality that are worse than the Gilded Age. To truly invest in poverty, you have to reverse the impact of the disproportionate distribution of wealth that happened post-slavery. The Homestead Act, which gave the entire West to white Americans, both native and foreign born, that kept black people from getting that land, those homes, and building wealth. Black banks have never been invested in in the way that, let's say, the Bank of Italy was invested in that now has become Bank of America, one of our largest banks. You've had Jim Crow, black laws, KKK, mass incarceration. You've had globalization where uh, we, with the race to the bottom, chasing low cost labor all over the world, taking industrial jobs out of the black communities. You know what they, you know what they brought back in? Cops and drugs and the numbers game. You gave us an illegal economy and cops, but never repaired the harm that you have caused, which is why black, mostly gun trafficking is trafficking in the black and brown communities and black and brown people are killing each other with it. So when I talk about dealing with the issue of poverty, I'm talking about reparations repairing the historic harm, investing in schools equitably. Right now, if you live in a wealthy community, you get more money for your school than you live in a poor community. And the poor community is only poor because they were redlined by the United States government via the GI Bill. Come on now. Now let me address a couple of your things. The first thing you said is about income inequality. Listen. Of course, incomes are not equal because everybody has different levels of talent, ability. People have started in different parts in life. We both acknowledge that. Yes. I will never sit here and say some that- Some are slave on. masters, Jamal, let me, some Jamal, are let me, slaves. Let me, but Jamal, okay. I'm never gonna sit here and say that black people in America started at the same place of other people in America. I'm not gonna make that point because we both know that is not true. But what I will do is say a bunch of Republican talking points and lies. Byron Donalds is, is a piece of work. Florida congressman, just a lackey, lapdog for the most extreme elements of the Republican caucus in the House. Look, uh, we've said it before here and, and, and Brittany Page on her channel, we talk about it a lot. We have shirts made up that say, poverty is a public policy choice. That after the pandemic, during the pandemic, when all of these different measures put in place, there were studies that were done that child poverty was reduced by like 30 or 40% through public policy. So if public policy has it in it, has the juice to reduce child poverty, then just by logical extension, we have the ability to eliminate it. 
You'll reduce it, put more money on, it reduces it even more until it's gone. But the, the highlighting and outlining of structural racism, like Jamal Bowman did there so succinctly, so quickly, so rapid fire is brilliant. Everything he said is rooted in the history of the United States, from slavery to convict leasing, the Homestead Act, the injustices that were faced by, by black soldiers who came back from World War II to none of the same benefits that white veterans got. GI Bill and home loans. There was no homes to buy because the homes in the neighborhoods where they could live because of segregation were redlined. Yet Byron Donalds is going to carry water for that. Anyway, uh, this is important, especially right now in the climate that we live where Republicans are trying to erase and in many places, just rewrite, just blatantly rewrite the history of the United States to paint us in some Pollyanna-ish nonsense way that does not reflect the accuracy of our history. Admitting that things that we did as a country were horrible and inhumane isn't hating the country. If anything, it is loving the country to prevent those things from happening once again because we have a fulsome understanding of what it is we come from, of what our forebearers put other people through. You may know I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a staunch proponent of reparations. I haven't come down on a side of exactly what I think that should look like. That's above my pay grade. I've done a couple of videos about it. Just search my name, Dollamore and Reparations. If you, if, you wanna, if you walk into it with an open mind, you want to know about why I believe that, go look up those videos. Structural racism in this country isn't something so sensitive that we should not talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to address it because we need to eliminate it. And we're only going to be able to eliminate it by understanding its origins. We're not going to understand its origins if we rewrite history or ignore it or call it woke or act like I just gave a lesson in CRT. It is all just fear and ignorance. Fear and ignorance. The new slogan for the Republican Party. You can throw hate in there too. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to know what you think. I earnestly would love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you, Congressman Jamal Bowman. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'm, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> very pleased that we have this man representing a population in Congress. We need more Jamal Bowmans. Um, anyway, I, I'll, 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 I'll stop there. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time until I do as always, once again, for the, who knows how many times be genuine, take care of one another.